Hello guys and welcome to episode 63 of my Total War Warhammer 3 Immortal Empires campaign playing as Sis of Twilight leading the Herald's Varial to world domination. Let's go ahead and continue our turn. We have Othiodai ready to go and it looks like it's time for him to attack Sudenberg and the army of Volkmar the Grim. He is actually going to be joined by Kalara and uh, Roderick Le Enguil, uh, Hertwig van Hal. It's, it's like all of these different um, Empire heroes, but they're all dead, so we're going to just go ahead and take that. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's so ridiculous. Uh, really nice trait from Volkmar, actually. That's going to bonus all of these Treken, I think. It's wild. Yeah, so Volkmar pretty much already dead. And that's really annoying. Oriaruth is just short of taking that this turn. Uh, Findol, uh, I think I'm actually going to take him back to the trees. Uh, we're going to send Findol to the Haunted Forest, I think. And we're going to pop this ritual. And he can just chill the time being. All right, another ritual on the way. I think uh, in terms of victories as well, I was waiting to do enough rituals of rebirth, wasn't I? That was another reason that we never did the long campaign victory, because we do need to do the defense of the oak, and I might end up doing that today if we manage to get the sisters back to somewhere uh, good enough. Uh, let's attack Azazel. That will pull them out or we'll resolve it. For the last time, go away, Chaos. <laughs> like the amount of times I have destroyed Azazel, we've killed Bellicor like a hundred times. <laughs> like, can, can you guys please stop? <laughs> that is it. Goodbye to the puppets of Misrule and the last of the Chaos factions. I'm pretty sure that's the last Chaos faction gone. So we no longer have to see any of those guys ever again. How wonderful. Just the order factions left now. We have wiped out chaos for good. Skrulk running around here with these regiments of renown is really annoying, but we can't really ignore Doomglade. We have to take it. Uh, I can raise it. And that's going to move us back up a little bit. Then what I can do is grab an army. Just the Lord. From here... And she can go take that for us. Right, next up for Durthu is Fyrus. I should probably take out Mad Mulletson while we're here. Although I do need to be careful not to bug out my game before we take every settlement. If we destroy all of the roaming factions, I'm pretty sure it bugs out, or I've heard something of the sort at least. So we obviously want to avoid that. Now, Daith is in the middle of nowhere. Would it be faster probably for me to just walk over here? Probably. So I think what we're going to do is, uh, yeah, we'll just start running over this direction. Uh, and Draka is now ready to go over here. So let's go take Badak Var. Oh, oops. Didn't didn't see that it would kill so many. Eh, it's okay. I don't think we had any malevolent dryads left, so it's fine. That was just a hunter army. I don't know why that was so bad on the order result. But we get the uh, blood soak trait, so I'll take it. Fill out with more dryads. All right, over to Arden. But Arden's going to have to head north before he goes south, because we need to get rid of the demon stump. So we'll do that. Molana and Catra. And move slightly. Ara can take Occam's Forever Maze. Oh yeah, technically this is a Chaos faction, so we haven't killed all of Chaos. But I wonder if these guys can get Azazel and... Alacor and stuff. Maybe. Maybe. We might see them. 
Let's go Foe Seeker, Endurance of the Oak, getting him some more health. That'll actually be very helpful for the auto resolve as well. He's going to jump on the water. It's probably faster to just get on the water up here, I think, rather than go down there. Up to Gonti Mingol we go. Oh yeah, of course we do have uh, J address here. We're going to have to catch up to at some point. Probably going to take a few settlements. Okay, time for Ara to get intercepted purposefully by Balthazar Gel. Oh, he didn't intercept. I was really hoping he would. Okay, time to zoom on around with the wind. to the desolation of Nagash, or we can just do this. Looks like that's faster. Okay, is that everything done? I think it is. We've got unsigned skill points to assign. I really don't know why it keeps suggesting me this one. Like, that's annoying. Okay, it'd probably be easier for me to just do it this way. So this is who is Sakirin again? Oh, he's the Dreamin Army. <laughs> okay, uh, we will definitely do. I think Call of the Woods to get the melee attack down. And then we definitely want Ancient Bark maxed out. Uh, this is the one That is getting wildwood ranges. With the forest. Actually, they weren't wild ranges, are they? They are, um. Blade Singers. We'll take Forest Fury. I did want to put dragons in this army. I think we'll do something like this. Let's get the global recruitment going. Plenty of dragons. More way watchers. Any other big entities that could help here? Maybe some eagles as well. Yeah, that'll do. Cool. Uh, Detain was the one that I was going to have go and get the settlement. Level all these up best I can. <laughs> she had a lot of points. He has a lot of points as well. Everyone's on four. He's on two. Arden's on two. 
maxed out there. Dark Heart's not very useful. Hmm. I guess we just go this way, get him evasion. Ah, death. Looks like we're good. We'll get out of Kurnus now. And then Trellan. That's it. Okay, cool. Building upgrade. Give me more money. And we'll move on. So at the moment, like our money is actually coming down pretty quickly. I might have to think about raising more settlements as we go. Uh, just because it will offset some of the turns that we are paying for replenishment. Interesting. I mean, I can actually just retreat from this. I might pull Balthasar Gout out and make that battle a little easier for us. The reason I'm doing that is just so I can kind of order resolve rather than actually play that out. But we'll see. Ah, God. Rogue armies. Oh, he suicided. Okay, well, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually really funny. The tour, uh, this refugees just were like, oh, I'm done. Ritual of rebirths available. Can only do one ritual of rebirth at a time, right? Yeah. Okay, good to have the sisters back. Uh, they can run down to the jungles of Chi'an. I'm pretty sure that's going to be. Closest, I just want to take them to the Oak of Ages now so we can do the Oak of Ages battle. Uh, Othiodai can attack the Plain of Tuskers. And we can have Ordiaru take the other settlement, and that will be almost the end of the Quarter Sigma. We'll just need that little army to suicide, and then we're good. Right, she can jump on the water. And probably go and take the Great Desert. We've almost wiped out Camry as well, which is nice. Windal still waiting for the armies to arrive here. Just going to move him in and out so I don't get the notification. At your service. My spear. Okay, and then Orion, same deal I think as Arden. I think we use this passage. For him, it actually unironically might be better for him to go down like this because he has such good movement range. Yeah, then again, it's probably even better on water. At your service. Right, they settled in Marak, which is good. Uh, we'll probably just march up here. Latan can head towards Doom Glade. Right, Dryka can take Matorka. We can take Kadakangazar. We can jump over the mountains. That's one really big benefit we have in fighting a lot of these order factions, other than dwarves, of course. But we can keep doing that. Okay, interesting. Uh, what I might do, just to make this a resolve, is um, move in with the Kirin and then uh, attack with uh, Ara. Oh, they intercepted me. Ah. Huh. Like, I feel like we should win, right? Although we don't have any magic. That's that's a problem. The amount of stuff that we're actually fighting, not having magic is a problem. Uh, so how am I going to do this? Uh, maybe the plan is to... Unachievable. Hmm. He's in March, so he, I can't actually do anything with that.
Okay, if we encircle this, then I think we can move Ara closer because this guy's in march dance. Maybe. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do, and it lagged out, so I couldn't cancel it. Uh, hmm. Maybe it's better this way. Can I do it as a settlement attack? That way we can kind of focus fire stuff down. Then my cavalry won't be as good though. Hmm. No, okay, we'll let them attack me again, I think. That's probably the best way to do it. Or we can maybe just go into an ambush. I wonder if they'll fall for that. I very much doubt it. We'll see. Alright, over to Daith. Uh, he can zoom up over here. The, me the reason I'm messing around with that and not just playing it out is because time, honestly. Like, it's not like I don't think we could win. It's just kind of like it would take a while to win that battle. So, kind of don't want to because it's not even like an exciting battle. It's just the spamming tier 1 units. I like the battles against units that we don't get to see too often. That's, those are the ones that I'm kind of looking out for as we close out this campaign. Any battles with big armies that have like cool setups. Whereas like this one, like, it's just spearmen and archers. Like, <laughs> it's boring. <laughs> it's just boring. Okay, anyway. Uh, Teveril. Uh, where do we want to go with Teveril? I think the Haunted Forest is closest to her. We'll just head back down that way then. I really hope we don't get like a rogue army pop up somewhere here. That'd be so irritating. Alright, Gronti Mingol is ours. Proud son of Athel And now we have to head over to Jadres. Can I offer assistance? Travelling. Ash uh, thought. Hopefully, he can just kill off these guys. We fight for Lovely. By attacking that other faction or other army first, it means they die when we attack them a second time. Okay, that's everybody moved. Can't do the unassigned skill point there. Might as well max out the gates. Do these get garrisons? No, they don't. They actually don't get garrisons at all. So upgrading them is completely pointless, but it doesn't matter. Might as well. Got nothing else to spend money on right now. So I said defeat. Bear dress didn't attack England in the end. Attack the other settlement. Karakazul. Okay, are they going to take that? That was a valiant defeat, actually. I didn't see how much damage we did. Okay, Balthazar, draw. That's what I mean. That's why I messed around with it. <laughs> so many settlement battles. <laughs> Just cycling through them, it's ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> Carry on. This is just ridiculous. Ready. 
This is what's gonna happen when we go to war with uh, the other order factions as well. And we need to kill off that army at Sittenberg. I really need to kill Lord of the Skrork. These are dark times. Oh, why'd you go that way? No mercy. So annoying. Right, the tank can take Doom Glade at least. And we'll disband her. Get our deficit down a little bit. Kill off this fella, get rid of those guys. Goodbye, Cult of Sigma. Good. That's less stuff on the map. Right, from here. I think we actually just head north. And we just go across the water. I was going to have some armies to kill soon here, but we'll just jump them in and out for now. Orion's heading towards the water. Berthu is going to take more settlements. Is he in range to attack Pashadu? No, he's not. We'll go for Martek, then we'll go for the Eye of the Panther. Okay, next up is Death. Continue his merry way. Ordiarus is on the water, heading up to the Great Desert. Okay. Riker, over to Angazar we go. We're both taking up, taking settlements off each other as quickly as each other. Although I think I'm probably taking slightly more. Proud son of Athalurum. It's a good point. My new guys don't have equipment yet. Should probably give them equipment. Oh, it's kind of a waste of time there. At this point. Everything I do in my turn is so like choreographed now. Like I said, it really starts to feel like a speed run. <laughs> I'm not even worrying about a lot of things like leveling up my heroes and stuff. It just doesn't matter. So I think on the sea there, they're pretty fast. I'm gonna go say hi to Jaya Dress. It would be fun to see that battle in army, like the or the battle in the army in battle. Sorry, not the battle in army. <laughs> Could take Fildorf. I'm trying to think what would be best to do here. I think it's easier for me to take Kalak and with uh, our chap here, Ikaden, because Ada can take Fildorf next turn. We're gonna probably just world roots over to Migdal von Gabadak, and then we can have Ikaden go for Steingart while uh, we move from Fildorf to Overheim. Just gotta think about the most efficient way to do things. Uh, we will jump over towards Nagashazar. And that is it. And the Lincoln level up. Let him. Like as soon as it gets to Dodan, it just kind of stops me from doing anyone else. I mean, I, if I wasn't lazy, I could obviously go and sort it out, but it doesn't really matter. Okay. Let's get things fixed up. And move on. Will Pasha do take a settlement? 
That is the question. We're currently down to 18 factions now. Jedras won't take Agrant. Okay. Valiant defeat for Pashadu. Did take Xandru though. A Valiant defeats. Oh, this is Griffinwood. Okay, we have to play this one out. I almost saw a resolve that, but uh, Marius Liddorf coming in hot. Let's play this out. Defend our woods for sure. All the minor settlements don't really care about, but this one really matters. Okay. It should be a pretty simple battle, to be honest. Just because their setup is so basic. I think I'm just going to put in a couple of towers, nothing like normal towers, nothing crazy. Uh, let's just put them up on the ridge here. I think that's everybody. Your orders. Let's speed things up. Let them come to us. Can build more arrow towers further back. The reason I'm just building normal arrow towers is because they have like pretty basic units. So it doesn't really matter. Okay, we're kind of friendly firing a lot there. Let's uh, put these on guard and make sure we're focusing their units. like their generals kind of getting toasted honestly I'm surprised my units aren't really doing more uh, let's send these this side because there's more units coming up there doesn't matter if this army takes too much damage this garrison So far, we're doing okay. Ready and waiting. Armed and ready by Kernos. Why are they not going around that way like I told them to? the arches that's okay that pays for elders all a space with hate let's engage the next huntsman there These chaps getting destroyed from the ridge. Nice try, boys, but it ain't gonna happen.
kill as many as we can so they can't come back. Why are they chasing that one guy over there? That's silly. Very silly. We'll end it there. That'll do. A good defense. Yeah, there's no way they take that. The nice thing about playing out this battle is it does kind of remove one of the threatening armies. Stops them from just taking loads of settlements every turn. Like that one, for example. Oh, this is a bad one, actually. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Losing more settlements. That's a full Slayer army. And the Ogre Kingdoms. Where are they come from? Oh. Is there a rebellion? Of Twilight. Oh, that's... Uh, okay. It's the people who popped up near the Haunted Forest. That's what it is. Find me in the war room. Actually a good target for Findol. Right, let's head up towards Zandri. We can take that out. Dirthy, we can take the Eye of the Panther. Then Orianus can take Great Desert next turn. Findol's just chilling. That's fine. Um, Orion is on the water. Over to Elendeling. We're going to attack the army here. Okay. Well, I was kind of hoping that they wouldn't retreat so far so that I could kill them both in one go, but Can I offer assistance? alas, we will have to follow quick. And once I take actually Nagashazar. Oh, interesting. I need a siege attacker. We fight for the That's forest. awkward. Yeah, I need a siege attacker in this army. Are great stacks not siege attackers? Like, you'd think they would be. It's okay. Make we'll just sweat and do that next turn. Proud. I'll have to put like a Treekin in there or something. I think Treekins get siege attacker. Proud son of Didn't think about that when making the armies. Yes, yeah, so everybody's really starting to hate me. You can see that uh, the Empire is really not happy with me now. I might actually just have to come across here towards Silver Pinnacle and cut off Kalakadrin, because otherwise they're going to expand super fast. Not really in the right position to deal with them at the moment. Okay, not in range attack Steingart, but that's okay. We'll go to Fildorf at least. Again, another one that doesn't have huge attacker. Okay, I'll we'll have to sort that out. Because uh, the lords don't have dragons yet as well, that doesn't help. Otherwise it would be absolutely fine. Okay, time for Arden to attack the Black Fortress. Just gonna want to resolve that. Occupy it. Replace the dryads. Every time we get one of those period victories, it does increase the health of our guys, making them even better. What's the uh, pop happiness like here with these guys? Because Tonia, still 380 with me. I mean, I guess they naturally like me, but even so. Crucible of Delights. I'll tell you what, Hara's having a wonderful time down here. You're seeing all Slanesh has to offer. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> okay, how are we deal with the elves? Okay, they're okay. The high elves don't mind us too much at the moment. Uh, yeah, Tefero can just keep coming down here. We can kill those ogres on the way if they don't get out of the way. Right, time to potentially catch up with Dare Dare Dress, but it doesn't Secret, look like it. We'll just take this settlement for now. You have no right. 
No rush for me to really chase this army. If she takes Eklund, we attack her next turn, so it's fine. Uh, that's nothing to do there. Ayarak certainly has plenty of siege attacker. Tell you that much. Right, she can zoom down here and intercept Alberich. So unassigned skill points. We're not going to worry about for this turn. Upgrade the Dragon Gate. Haunted Forest can't build that building yet, so we move on to the next turn. Our money is slowly falling. Back down to 1.5 million. Okay. Quick attacked but didn't take Lamia. Well, this is a nice order resolve for us. Pashadio suiciding. You have caused and here we go! It's Empire time! <laughs> this is gonna get ridiculous, guys. Actually ridiculous. I'm actually gonna have to send something to the Doomglade. Or to the um the other forest. And again, they might just attack the forest, it'd be fine. They're trying to reclaim all their land. <laughs> <laughs> this is so ridiculous. I could probably play a lot of these out and really damage their armies, but it's really no point. Okay. Still heading back to the jungles of Chi An. Zandri. Right from here we're going to be zooming north. Orialis is taking the Great Desert. We fight for the forest. Which is going to leave Arkan here with a lot of attrition. Interesting. Immune to Sassel and attrition in all armies in adjacent province. Okay, I guess. Uh, we'll just wait with Findol. Those ogres to arrive. Let's set sail. We go. Can, I assist you? Right, can we catch up no to Queek, mercy. please? Alright, Dorothy is heading north. At your service. Like I'm really gonna start Seeking unseen <laughs> surrounding all of these order factions soon as all my armies start coming back. As long as I'm kind of taking more settlements than I'm losing each turn, I think we're okay. I think I kind of am at the moment. One of one problem that we do have actually that will dramatically affect my income is all of the trade agreements are going to get broken. That is a bit of a problem. Let's head down to Ruin's End. I am called. They're actually getting to the point where they're going to declare. Okay. Well, that's good. I mean, it's going to free up these armies, so. Very good. Also, Ara's nearly freed up. Well, I need to go check uh, the islands over here. I don't think there are any settlements on the eastern colonies at the moment in the game, but I will check. Uh, Theodai is still chilling here. Everell is still zooming down here. Ayarak can take out J address. Goodbye. These are dark times. I'm gonna march 
a bit closer here. We were definitely in range next turn. Okay, take that. Thank you very much. And what we're going to do is remove... Uh, let's remove some... Get rid of Way Watchers. Glade Lord. I need to put a unit in here that has Siege Attacker. So Eagles don't. Tree can do. Did none of these really have it? I'm really surprised the Great Stags don't. Yeah, I'm just going to have to put like a tree can in there to bash down the gates for us. It's okay. It only takes one turn to recruit them in, so that's absolutely fine. Akurian's dream and army. Slowly leveling up. We're gonna have to do the same here. Put a unit of treemen in here. The waker of trees. Right. And down past Carcassonne. That's everybody moved again. This turn, again, this, maybe it's just with forts I can't put garrisons in them. Maybe that's just supposed to be a thing with the Wood Elves. Hmm. Weird. I must have noticed that before, surely. The other buildings that I'm missing. No, I think we're good. Okay. Let's quickly do some leveling up. Inseparable. Invincible. Those two are both fine. Let's do it from the back side. He's got three points. What do you need? Okay, my now and Diarak. Ah, uh, Catra. See more striking branches and more Lana. Wonders of the Forest is now really important because we're running a deficit. So we need to try and make as much money back from our attacks as possible through like post battle loot. Okay, that's all of the peeps leveled up. The other thing that I might do is in some of the new ones add armor and stuff just so the order resolves are better. Finally, Creek's dead. I did just lose another settlement to them though, which is kind of annoying. Ooh, Emperor Carl Franz attacking Griffinwood. Well, it's going to be another stoic defense we're going to have to make. 
Uh, but unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. So I'm going to leave it here. In the next episode, we'll attack Emperor Karl Franz. Uh, it's going to be a fun battle. He's actually got some decent units. So, yeah, looking forward to it. Hopefully you guys are too. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.